going all the way in there? Yeah. Yeah. Go all the way out? Welcome back to Marara for another Saturday night rugby contest. This week it's between Darwin Dragons and Palmers and Crocs. Next to me is Billy. Welcome, Billy. Thanks, Rocky. Uh, mate, and great to be back on another. It's a beautiful Saturday night tonight. Yeah, absolutely. No rain for now in sight, as we know what Darwin weather can do. But geez, the temp's nice too, isn't it? Oh, yeah, nice, cool. Should be, uh, the field still looks in good condition after having four games on it today, so we'll see how we go. As uh, Dragons got us underway out to Palmerston, who have put that out and have put it straight onto the boot and have made great metres. No one was back for Dragons there. That's a weird start for them. And they're going to go back towards the sideline. Yeah, and we got Keg there at fullback. He's done all right. He's just sort of laid it up for him. A bit of pressure on him by Palmhole. Now, yeah, nice layout by the forwards there, and forwards have just. Set up oh. The, oh, it's been spilled out. Well done, Palmerston. And the big number eight looks like he's going to go have a run. And he's put it on to Green. And that's been charged down by Sunya. Who's going to put that back on the boot? Tell you what, Sunya's done well. He's gone to Wapu. Wapu, oh, oh gee, the number 14. That's That was lucky. Oh, and the, 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 Jesus, they've gone everywhere here tonight. So the Dragons have just counter-rucked that nicely. Good pressure. Jeez, they're on tonight. Yeah, we got Baggett. Baggett's just gone out to the forwards, lining up in the centres, and you got... Oh, the arm's gone up. I think he's just setting the defensive line. Well, it's Gareth Felton had his arms all through that, but he let him off, the old fella. And then we got Baggett again. Uh, and yep, Sunya. Sunya. Sunya just doing his bit of voluntary work, helping the club keep going. Oh, Tobin. Tobin sent it wide. They're looking dangerous here now. They've got a bit of pace out in the wing, and they've been exposed out oh, there, Palmerston. Great right try. in the corner. Gee, I tell you what, you know, week after week we see some messy stuff, but that was well-structured, well-balanced, and he's, and Dragons have just done a great job of getting themselves in a good position, setting themselves up nicely and closing the deal. Here you can see the replay right now, and Sonia's just taken in the defence. Sort of the back row, two back rowers there. Great job of locking up. Palmerston have pushed across nicely. But then you can see the number 12 there for Palmerston has just sort of stepped in and he's put a bit of pressure on the outside. But um, that happens from time to time. But well done, Dragons. Good, nice start. The boys are on, aren't they? Yeah, early start. Getting a try in the uh, first two minutes of the uh, game is always what your coach wants. So good ball movement by their back line, actually. Yeah, it just seemed everybody was not in a nice place. But how was that counter? I mean, the number 14 for um, Palmerston, he had a lot of pressure on him. Um, and he's done a great job to sort of get that ball back when um, when Wapu was right on him. And then just Palmerston, just it was so quick that Palmerston couldn't get any support back for him. Well, great kick off the boot by Dragons. He and slots over. it from the sideline. Jeez. It was a weird uh, kicking technique. His arm actually doesn't come up when he uh, is kicking it. it remains down by his side but it's yeah, effective that was Aiken Lewis I believe just a, he's coming off last week's a bit of an effort and he's just he's just slotted that nice didn't he yeah that was Smooth. a real nice kick he's uh, missing the headgear this week so looks a bit different for our viewers as Palmerston are going to get us back underway here with the green headgear in the centre we'll try and find his name withheld thank you good kick by James 
And it's been contested by 14, and he's got it on the second attempt there, and he's popped that off to the eight. Who nearly knocked that on, but he's been brought down, and big H is all over the ball there, but he's been called for the penalty. He was off his feet, unfortunately. Yeah, I've just heard it back in the mic. That number 14, his, his name is actually um, Keen. Keen? He, Keen for the ball? No, he's actually, sorry, his name, I've got his mustard because he's Keen. Oh, there you go. There you go, you see? So mustard out here at number 14 has done a great job so far. He's at kickoff. Big effort hey, for a little fella. Got to the first one, then uh, regather. It was a real great effort by him. Something they need. Something they need a bit of part. Something just a bit of enthusiasm. Be good for them just to ignite these blokes a bit. They've elected to go for the uh, penalty goal to get some points back, which is always a coach killer. You score a try and give points back within a minute. Yeah, and Palmerston, another club who's probably struggled for numbers a bit um, this part of the season. Um, Gareth Felton there, number three. I think we talk about him a bit, but I think it's because we can't believe he's still playing, isn't it? <laughs> he has been around for a while. <laughs> uh, everyone recognises him. He stands out. The old big guy, grey hair with a little rat's tail out the back. Good bloke, though. Good bloke. And a bloke you do not want him um, upset. No, definitely not on the rugby field. He, uh, I he, he, I've nicked that in your mind, ironing board, because he just <laughs> cleans you out and lays you flat. Well, I think him and Dennis Bree combined um, are probably older than the tablets that Moses held up. Well, I was going to go that um, I've lost fingers and toes from all the Queenslanders from uh, earlier. And That's only about a thousand. <laughs> That's, That's their combined age. People. <laughs> and the number 10 here is push that out to the right. So uh, no points there. We're going to have a 22 metre dropout. Unlucky. Uh, it's, it, you know, he, he needed it. That would have been a good start for him, just the first interaction into the half. Yeah, Caleb Smith, uh, the number 10 there, won't be happy with that. And they kick that off straight down 13's throat, and he's going to try and run this back. And he's been swallowed up by the defence uh, from Dragons. He still hasn't actually released the ball. He's a bit stuck with all the arms there. And Ten's going to pop that back into the number eight who was on the ground and then he stood back up. I'm sure he can do that one. And it's out to the flanker. He's knocked that on and he's put it straight down the throat for Dragons. Yeah, and Webb has just cleaned it up nicely. They're just setting it back now. And you bag it. He's sent it out to Tobin. Tobin's got it out to Wapu. Wapu's just put the pressure on the defence to drag him in, but he's got no room to move, so he's going to have to hold up on the leg drive and he's gone straight through them all and great, great attack with the legs. And bag it again. He's just, oh, and he's just picked up one of the smaller forwards, I guess. But Palmerston are right on top and of that. And they've stolen it. And then it's been stolen back by the world's slowest runner of Drew. Oh, a huge clean up. But straight off their feet, they're lucky to get away with that one. Oh, huge oh, hit back. Oh, wow. Play. And they've gone straight through. And that's Webb. Webb with speed. Again, he's left alone, but he sent it wide. H was there. They've cut him out. It's gone out to uh, Sonia. Who's Sonia. Nearly knocked it on. Called backwards and then finally knocked on by the Dragons. And it's going to be a scrum feed to Palmerston on their 22. Good pace by Dragons. And, geez, that, that bit of pace has just put put him right in the back foot. Palmerston just needed just need to understand that bloke has to go low in the in the contact. Yeah, they're Is a bit high tonight. They will need to readjust what they are. They want for the rest of the game, otherwise they're just going to get beaten backwards. Well, Webb's, a, Webb's he's quick and he's a hard runner. And wa, Sorry, Wapu, I mean, was Wapu's a great runner. You get him on the leg drive, he's going to push straight through you. But if you get him low, um, you just have you cannot afford forward for these blokes to get the um, past the advantage line. Their forwards are too strong. Yeah, nice solid scrum by Palmerston, holding it up nicely. There's been one there, and they're going to pass that out to Caleb, who's put it on the boot. It's on its way out, and it's good kick. Yeah, nice distance. Yeah, I, I think the only way that um, Palmerston are going to get over the top of Dragons here is they've, they've got to make sure that they get to the contact before the player gets, gets a bit of mo momentum on the run. Because once these guys, Dragons boys, get momentum, they're over the advantage line every time. We'll have a line out, 10 metre line for Dragons. Caught there by Elliot Lewis. Uh, Tobin, Tobin's gone it up, and the back line was too flat. Yeah. I just need to reset their depth there. That ball was behind him before he uh, get a hand on that. But good rushing defence there. Put the pressure on from Palmerston. That uh, helped with forcing the error. 
Yeah, you, you see, it's pretty common up here at the moment. A lot of flat, a lot of flat play, and it's sort of uh, the ball gets held up a bit sometimes, and the play doesn't get read real well. But yeah, he was just a, bit, a little bit too flat again. A half a metre back, that's hit him right in the chest, and he's got a nice little hit up there. But that was a good scrum by Palmerston last time. You got the feed. And they got a nice push on early. Yeah, Wallace. Now pass that out to Caleb. He's going to put it on the boot again. Nice meter meterage on that. And um, the old banana kick there from yeah. Dragons has been really effective. Jeez, that's backfired a bit on Palmerston there. I can see why what Palmerston is trying to do, and I can see that it will be effective part of the game for them, but, but they have to nail it. They just have to nail it. I mean, you know, if they can if they can push them back and keep it up there, they're going to go all right. But but yeah, this when you got Big H there and a few of the other strong forwards and Tobin, he might be slow, mate, but he's got smarts. And that's been won by Dragons. So a turnover in the line out. Burge and Webb, but Webb again. He's just he's quick off the mark. He's got the flying hand out there to palm off the defence. Out to Sunya. And Sonia's just dummied and dummied out. The big H. H has gone out to... Oh, look, they've palm one, palm... Oh, and taken down by the number four there. I think he's just got his arm under the collar, so he's, it's illegal. But Dragons, again, setting up nicely. They don't need to do too much more than this. They've just caught a couple of forwards out wide. He's, he's going to run around and, and Palmerston is short out to the left. Tobin again, it's just hands. And, and that's try over time. the try time by Dragons. These guys didn't play that long ago. It might have only been three or four weeks ago they played each other and the same thing sort of happened. A couple of the forwards from Palmerston got stuck out in the centres and uh, Cougars actually, um, it's Cougars, sorry, Dragons made the most of it. So you just see a bit of mismatch there. Numbers are out wide, sees that. Cut out ball. I know you don't like chaos, but it was effective on that one. Well, but you know, they got their time in their place, haven't they? Yep. Yeah, that's two tries to two cutout balls for uh, Dragons. Yeah. But yeah. This, is a, this is a very worrying sign for Palmerston. They are leaking tries early. Well, you know, they've got a couple of probably... They've got a couple of older heads in there trying to help them out the best they can. And the only way that... You know, and you know, when you've got Gareth and a few other players who probably... You know, I just are there to help out. You need to give them support in the middle because these quick guys like Webb and that, they're just going to see them and just you lap them up for breakfast. Yep. Yeah, you can't, and they can't afford to get stuck out wide like no. they just were. No, drag. And here he goes, Aiken again. He's just nice little... He's got an awkward style, but he's hit it nicely again, but no. it's just gone wide. No, makes the score. Down Dragons, 12. Palmerston Crocs, 0 with 28 and a half minutes to go in the first half. Yeah, and what Dragons probably in the backs lack in experience and they probably lack in um, knowledge of the game, they've got, a, they've got speed in spades. And uh, that's the only thing they're going to need out there unless they can get some of the... I'd hate to be a Palmerston back rival tonight because you've got your work cut out for you. Yeah, you're going to be moving around the uh, whole pitch as they're going for a deep kick off there from Caleb. A little bit of a fumble by uh, yeah. nine. Going out to H. H out to Tobin. Tobin's just gone the launch. He's just gone field position. Just a nice set up nicely. I think his foot was just in by half an inch there. So he's timed that just right. But this is a, a, an opportunity for... Uh, opportunity for uh, Palmerston now. There's, they've got to work out what key players here they need to start making some inroads into this uh, defence. Because they're not going to get him in speed, so they're going to have to get him in uh, yeah, effort. Up the middle. And it's gone through the hands of the line-out, but Palmerston has still managed to retain the ball. Jeez, good work by Gareth Felden. H is all over that, and Gareth has done a little spin and a bit of age over there. And it's big five with a nice hit up there, Paul Slavo. Just a nice settling run there. And a pick and drive here by the big hooker, Tom. I'm uh, going to pass that out to the forwards again. Looks like they've been listening to us. They're going to try and beat it through the forwards. Is he being held up here? Yeah, Dragons, that league-style tackle doesn't work in Union. You got and there's it. a penalty advantage. Tackle and never released there. It wasn't the actual mall, so... 
Yeah. yeah. Fair enough too, and they're going to get good ground here and get an opportunity. That league style tackle that a few of the blokes got, not their fault, a lot of league he's playing the comp, but they go high. And yep. then, and in Union, you've got to cut those legs off. If you get them past the advantage line, they're just going to walk you up the street. And off the side of the boot there by Caleb, so not much meterage gain there. Robbie on the touchy rolls tonight, just uh, had the main officiating role in the previous game. He's backing up. Cardio is his favourite. There's another line out here for Palmerston. They've gone straight to the front. Oh, good, good, good take there. And they're going to pass that out. Caleb's there. Going to pass it to a big 17 who's just run it straight and hard. Great run there by the big 17. Shane Butfield. Oh, good and they're hands. Gonna pass that out wide to the flanker who's out on the wing. And he's released that ball. Good Gee, work. Did he release that ball? Yes. Was a, a pole a in front of him. Huge drive there by the big number three, Gareth. Yeah, he just copped the knee from his own team there, so hopefully he'll be all right. I hope the knee's all right, to be honest. Yeah, that's one solid head. The knee's probably broken. Mate. Another nice, just nice forward work here, and they're going to pass this out to the back. Gale is going to go for a dummy and Ooh. get absolutely axe murdered there by Sunya. Might have been slight late, but Palmerston have still retained the ball. Not not too much rolling away there by the player. Yeah, I think the tackled player. And the seven's going to have a run. And he's, a right. what, he's brave, isn't he? Yeah, we called it. I called him a few weeks ago um, at the start of the season. He just kept getting bounced and kept wanting the ball. He he was driven backwards, picked up, dumped, and everything. Just kept going for the ball. We finally got a penalty. Yeah, full Good. arm. Okay, they got to go points. Back to back penalties here. Dragons got a on this and a quick tap there by Caleb, who's runner at the defensive oh. line, and he's kicked Butcher. it and it's. Bounced off about four dragons, and they're being called for a knock-on, and it's a double knock-on, and it's going to be a Palmerston feed for the scrum, in oh, 20 metres away from their attacking try line. Someone needs to take measure of it, make take a bit of notes and measure the team and work out where the inroads going to come from, because you're not going to get a lot of these opportunities sometimes, and if you're going to waste them like that, um, that number seven is brave. That's sort of for build I had. And um, you weren't the, winding the, up like that, running at the two well, biggest blokes on the field. No, I learned my lesson very early. <laughs> the style of play for a player of that design is good motor, clean the ball out when your team's got it, lock it up, and be a good tackler around yeah. the fringes. But yeah, he, he, he's going to find himself in a very short game if he starts running up. But you know. It's probably harder than me too. Good scrum here by both teams, and it's finally at the back of the scrum. Tony's going to pass that out to Caleb, who's going to go in behind to the oh. 12. It's been misread by Dragons, and he's going to pass it out to the winger. He's going to go untouched in the corner. Great try there by Palmerston. A misread in defence by Dragons. They'll be kicking themselves there. Yeah, nice bit of sleight of hand. It just goes to show you mightn't have the speed or the toe or something, but if you can just... Draw the defence in nicely, hold that ball up to the right amount of time and just offload it with a bit of depth. You can you can expose teams, and that's what they did really well. So we are, what's the replay from the scrum here? A little bit of a mishook. The nine wanted to rip that out of the scrum there from the side. You can't do that, mate. Going to pass that out, out of Caleb, and he's going to hold this up to the 12 and a misread, and 12's just going to run... Nice little pass out to his uh, winger out there, number 14, Stephen. I, I actually got him down here as Fry Tuck, but Stephen's fine. Unless that's a new thing, new haircut, hairdo they're working on. Yeah, now Fry was good there. I sort of, he didn't have the speed. He sort of built more like a second rower, but you could see how he held it up nicely, just waiting to commit the defence, and then he saw that he hit the gap. Put his guy through the gap, and that's all you need to do. Yeah, draw and pass, it works 99% of the time. It's a simple game, isn't it? Yep. If only everyone would do that. Oh, mate. It's the easy way to do rugby. Why don't we always try it the hard way? Problem is, it's not played by simple men. No. That's, that's, that's where it goes wrong. This will be a hard kick for him, though, right on the sideline. He did uh, miss a easier attempt earlier right in front for a penalty. Yeah, he's probably got no, put no pressure on himself from here, so... Yep. Uh, he's kicked that. Looks good. Jeez. And it's straight through the middle. Only just had the distance, but doesn't matter. Good kick there by Caleb in the green headgear. He looked nice off the boot. Um, I, thought, I thought it was going to go over, but you, it was only just, but he's done well there. That's um, If he can kick them, he should have confidence all night to start putting them over. And he's going to need every one of those he can get. Oh, definitely. The way the Dragons started this game, they're going to need kicking boots on tonight. 
Yeah, funny <coughs> thing about rugby, you can be outclassed in many areas, but if you play the right game in the right way, you, you'll always find inroads on someone. And um, and there's going to be some inroads here from Dragons, but you've got to, you can't let them get away. That's a good catch there by Palmerston. He's under pressure again, but he's managed to get the kick off. Didn't go out. Caught by Big H. Oh, yep, he sent it out, and he's got it out to uh, uh, 15. Yeah, oh, he's, 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 tell you, he's running some good solid defence there. I'm not sure where the arm was when he hit him, but he's, that ball's bobbled everywhere. I think it was a knock-on. There was about four knock-ons there. Dragons are lucky he's just oh, still well, out of his ball. He's gone. Well, it's even, isn't it? And they're Palmerston and counter-rucking here. They're on if they could get some more players there. Yeah, for the size of some of the Palmerston players, that's good counter-rucking. Yeah, McKillop has just gone a bit of a run there, and he's still going. They've got to go low on him. It wasn't a hard run, but he, oh, oh. He's... That's been called backwards. Well, it may have been ripped out. I did see a harm, arm going there, and that's going to Tobin. Tobin, and oh. H is now having a bit of a juggle. And that one's been called a knock-on. So big H has knocked one on. That's a very rare sight indeed. Human, wonder, wrecking, uh, human wrecking ball. I wonder if they find him for certain stuff, because I do have, I do take issue with uh, Ewan McKillop. Last time these guys played, they had a three-man overlap, and one of those, and the only player they had to beat was Gareth Felton, and he's put it on the boot. <laughs> now, they they scored within a, they scored it, but it was only a whisker. Now, for you, Ewan, being a forward one, you don't kick it. Number Hang two, on. When you've got to get <clears throat> past Gareth Felton, who I love because you know we've. I've coached his daughter in netball and he's got a great family. As good as that, much as I love the man, it's not much of a challenge. Why are you kicking it? So you're saying forward shouldn't kick the ball, but no, you I'm were praising he's... Matty Travers last week a forward for kicking. We've now nicknamed it the whole, uh, the Hail Mary, the Matty Travers Hail Mary. No, but see. Good pressure here by the 14 again with oh, the defence and he's and hanging Mustard on by the boot. All over him. Mustard's done a great job there. And he's oh, turned it over. Tell you what, Palmerston have got this. He's going well. Put on the toe, son. Go, son, all the way. The number oh, seven. Oh, brought down there by the slowest runner. Desperation in defence. And 17's going to back that up. Another barnstorming run by himself with a pick and go. He's been held up five metres short. She's a bit of lack of enthusiasm by some of the Palmerston forwards there, but they've just got to put the pressure on them. Shocking pass oh. to Caleb, but it's been cleaned up there. And they need to get numbers because they've run straight to H and they've cleaned him out. Great work there, Palmerston. They never oh. released the player. And, and now they're in trouble. It's a four on two, three on one. Oh, and they've gone out nice and wide. And Aiken, Aiken's got one man to beat, but he's got some... Oh! Two minds... Too many voices, and he's just gone straight out the wrong way. Um, you know, bad luck, big fella, but that was an opportunity that... That's like having the fish in the net, but then not pulling the net in. Yeah, that was uh, lucky to get that ball from uh, where they did, and then they used it well, and then spilled the beans right on halfway. He, <laughs> they had four on one. And he tried to do a magic pass. No look to the only one that was not even on his outside. Ooh, I'll tell you what, yeah, that lost. was as straight as a roundabout that throw, but he got away with yeah, it. Yeah, well, you know, not much effort by Dragons. So Dragons are all over the ball there, and they've stolen it again. But it's been... Yep, they've stolen it again. They never released that one. Yeah, we've got Dragons now. Oh, I tell you what, Big H is showing all his skills. He's got plenty of them. And now he's knocked it on and given it... Ooh, <laughs> Giving it straight back to uh, Gareth there. They're going to pass that out. What? Another shocking pass. Palmerston not helping themselves in yeah, any I way. I think the dog's dinner tonight, I think. Well, it started to rain, so we've got a little bit of a sprinkle going on. We'll give them... Yeah, you won't see that right now, but, I mean, it's just a nice light drill. Just cool, what you call cooling effect. Yeah, it'll cool the players down and make Mist. their boots heavy. Mist. A little bit of... It'll, it'll make the ground feel like dew. Just a light covering. I wonder if Big H just signed a non-aggression pack just then because he's a couple of times he's got there and thought, oh, right, boys. Yeah. Well, he picked that one up I off his boot laces. I won't run through you if you... <laughs> but, I oh, mean, he's got all the skills. I mean, you know, nothing Big H can't do. And Big Gareth has uh, stayed down after that contact. Yeah, look, I mean, you know, it's one of those things with uh, Gareth. He's putting everything in each week. And, I mean... 
he's in that position to help the club out and we can't talk enough about clubmen and every club needs a good clubman. We know that rugby's built on a couple of blokes. They're built on the president or the bloke who puts all the work in and the blokes who refuse to retire. One, because they just refuse to retire and they're too stubborn. Well, Two, he did retire last year and came back because they were short numbers and it's paying no, dividends for Dragons. As soon as he came back, they're winning. Well, that's H. I'm talking about big Gareth here. <laughs> But then, I mean, I reckon Gareth can retire in the next five years. I still need him. Yeah. <laughs> well, they shouldn't. They've got a lot of juniors. But, you know, you've got those blokes like him who are just going to always be there. Yeah, they're all stalwarts know. of the club, uh, yeah. what many of them are built on. And the club's not the same if they're not there. So, you know, you've got you to praise them. Well, we're going to have another scrum here. Good solid scrum by both teams. They're going to pass that out. Better ball to Kelly a little bit behind him. And he's going to oh. pop that out to the back. That was a great ball there and a great option by Palmerson. A little bit under pressure at the breakdown here, but they won that. A little bit of slow ball, though. And uh, now they're going to just try and hit it up the middle. They missed three big boys running with steam and had to stop them up. And that's coming out the back of the, scr back of the ruck without any hands involved. Yeah, and, you know, Number 23, you've got uh, for Dragons. He's solid. He's been there a couple of weeks. That ball just popped out. No one all over it. They're just, a, just switched off. It was a great great play there by Palmerston. They just stole that. It was out there, out the back. And he's going to pop that back in to the inside, to the big two. He's going to try and pop that. And it is being turned over and straight back to Dragons. Yeah, and number 17 for Dragons, uh, Elliot Lewis. He's just held it up nicely, but they've got that back now. And... Oh, and they're quick. They've got quick hands. They've got room. They've got numbers. And he's just slipped through one. He's held off. He's been held by another. They've gone wide. They've got one man to beat. And he's held onto it. He's run through them. Oh, oh no. no. Another one. H. Oh, big H. Someone take the man a towel. <laughs> that was... He's costed his team a try, but that was at his knees. We'll give him... Mate. No, I, his skill level, he should have no, got that. Mate, yeah. that bloke can fly. Mate, I reckon... As we watch the replay here... And go out wide, big Sunya, two on two. He just holds the ball, beats one clean, pops it back for Big H, who just drops it cold. Good effort by the fullback to hold on to Sunya. Last line of defence, but I mean, Big H, did his missus make him wash the dishes before he's came out? Because he hasn't, he hasn't finished with the tea towel. Yeah, he's, he's uh, spilled it. got a bit of soap on his hands, that's for sure. Not liking these uh, mm. now wet conditions. We're still dropping it in the dry. Oh, uh, look, mate, this is not wet. This is this is good. No, no, it stopped this raining. Is, this instantly. is as good as you're going to get this year to play in for us. Yep. I mean, you know, <laughs> maybe it's too easy conditions for him. He only maybe. likes the hard stuff. Yeah, well, what, I don't know what the. I haven't looked at the monitor, but I mean, it's probably only about thirty or forty percent humidity. So that's that's pleasurable. Yep. Anyway, I can't. I'm never going to criticise a man, but again, Palmerston get away with another one here. That keeps the game tight, and every time they do that, it gives them another opportunity. So good work for the enthusiasm. The only thing I fear about is. Like the last couple of games we've seen with Palmerston, they just haven't got a general. Yeah, no one's taken the lead from the front. No one to sort of sort of get them lined up nicely when they've got the ball and just give them a couple of uh, orders to set it up or give them... It's just, they're all running off, off the fly, you know? Sort of, it's like you've got, you know, eight Campeses with my ability. <laughs> <laughs> Campeses brain with my, with my skill set. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they need one of their forwards to take charge, I think, for tonight. Well, just a set of eyes. Halfback, 5'8". Set of eyes to put up and go, right, the forwards are doing well here. Go again, go again. And then, once they're lined up, ready to go, look for a forward in the back line and expose them. Yeah. But, again, you can't, you can't criticise them too much. They've done a great job so far. Yeah, they've managed to just hold them out, and that's all we can ask for. A bit of pressure on them now, don't worry. Big scrum here, and they're holding the weight well. They're going to pass oh, that out. A sloppy pass again to Cal. He's under pressure all night. Yeah, the number 20, oh, he, he needs to work on his that, passes. <laughs> oh, and, and, you know, look, we, number number 20, uh, Wallace. Yeah, Patrick Wallace. We don't know, again, we know a few players, in, you know, and your, your team, you've played with Cougars. I've played a bit with South, but... Some of these players are filling in out of position, and I'm assuming Wallace is doing the same thing. So again, you know, it's easy for us to go, mate. You, sh you pass the shit, but yeah, he needs to work day, on that at half time. But at the end of the day, you mate, he's probably filling a gap that they really needed to fill. 
And they won the line out and they're driven straight through. Who's got, and he's gone over, has he? Has he been held He up? was celebrating the try, but the referee was saying held up. Well, when we see this game, you just see the replay oh, here because... The big 14 mustard has held up the big number five by the looks of this. Yeah, McKillop. Held up. So Mustard has held up the big number five. Yeah, look at McKillop here. He just sort of, the number seven done a great job to take the legs. And there we go. We, we talk, we criticise people not taking the legs. But, mate, there's your evidence. Take the legs. The next bloke takes the arms. And you've just saved a try. So we're going to have a goal line dropout. James White, that is all yours. Well done. Yeah, and McKillop, you're another carton, mate. Yeah, he shouldn't be. We shouldn't get held up by a winger, mate. Oh, that was number five. Nah, to be honest, it wasn't that bad. I just figured he's he owes two. Let's just pile him on. Caleb here with a reset. Yeah, and a bit of a bit of speed up here for the Dragons. And he's run a stray bag and of he's Caleb. Got Jonas Nicky, one of the one of the famous Nicky brothers who's been playing for this club for a long time. He's got space, pace, but they've gone out now to uh, to bag it. Bagus just looking for opportunities here. Where does he go again? Oh, and they've just the oh. defense again by Palmerston. Uh, Helping them stay in this game. Well, they went left where they've exposed Palmerston all night, and they're just and Dragons cooked it. That's where they've exposed them all night. And there's another chance, and they've just cooked it. But you know, for, for for entertainment purposes, for what we want, you know, we don't want to. Both teams for Dragons coming off what five losses and mix of forfeits, and just struggling to hold a team together and. Palmerston, who again, who are also struggling for numbers. I mean, they're both putting in the best they can do, and it's been great so far. And they've gone for the front of the line, and an old trick play has worked effectively there for Dragons. Yeah, they've taken a few uh, Palmerston boys down with them, but Baggett again, he had Tobin. Tobin's ready to line up, and he's got Sonia, Sonia straight has through. just gone straight through again. Hates has finally caught got one. Hands and hands all the way oh. out to the number 18, and 14 Shirley. Modern. And that's right on 14, run in and did his best to do another hold up, but couldn't get his body in the right position there. But Yeah, and Shirley was just there to pick the fruit off, pick the tree off the low hanging fruit. There's um, a replay here, good uh, line out call. Yeah, Low risk. You can, you can sort of see that Palmerston, not, not a lot of enthusiasm close to the ruck there to push across. You've got a couple a of loose Poor boards. effort by the six of uh, Palmerston, just held out one arm at his knee. So uh, needs a. As a forward, you should be making that inside tackle. Yeah, I mean, look, once it once it got out, got out to the middle of the back line, there was nothing they could do. But in with the numbers and with that situation, you have your big close night. But they needed a spread, and the enthusiasm <coughs> from the side of the ruck was just not there. It's going to be the easiest conversion we've seen in uh, all four games today, right in front of the sticks. No one's had a try underneath the post tonight in all four games, so. Finally, we get there with his uh, weird kicking action. Watch his right arm. It doesn't move from his side. It's weird, isn't it? Because yeah. the right arm is your balance arm. It's yeah, the one usually. you have high and you bring down and give you power and balance. And yeah. Doesn't move it. But he's uh, successfully converted that one. So that makes the score down Dragons 19, Palmerston Croc 7 with you know why he doesn't move 10 it? minutes to go in the first half. He doesn't move it because it's too easy. Oh. <laughs> so easy. <laughs> well, we've got a kicker that reckons it's too easy. Oh, well, no, he... I said it's too easy for him. He, he probably. If it's weird and it works, if it's if it looks weird but it works, perfect. You don't want the same thing every time. That's just boring watching. As we're going to get back underway here. Caleb's having a a struggling night, but not helped by his uh, team. Oh well, you can't. You, you know what? But all the pressure's on him, though, isn't it? I mean, he's the one. And, oh, big H. He's just taken the storm through. He's bumped off one. He's been taken nicely, though, by the first tackler. And they've just gone nice and wide, just off to the forwards. And this is what they do best. They just line them up. They, they get the forwards over the top. And, and he has not released the ball. That's great effort there by Palmerson. Oh, they had him on a stick. Dragons just lined him up, didn't they? And then the backs were all set. Yeah, first hit there was by uh, Caleb, so he's proved me wrong in about 30 seconds. He is having a good game, but he's not been helped by the ball that he's getting. No, is what I, I tried to say, but I've couldn't got say all it properly. praise for him tonight because he's been getting no feed. When your forwards aren't going forward, your halfback and five eight are under pressure, and you can tell, mate, he's just he's just doing the best he can with what he's dished up. You know, I mean, you can't make cake without flour, and mate, all he's getting at the moment is. Uh, Milk and sugar with a bit touch of vinegar. <laughs> and it's curdled. 
<laughs> Stop adding vinegar to your cake. <laughs> Add a pavlova. And that's come straight out of the uh, same hole there, so we're going to have a reset on that scrum. Yeah, and it's good. So we've got uh, the number 18, uh, Latham Shirley, is on his debut tonight for the Dragons. Um, and he's and he's a son of Chris Shirley, who's a long-time Dragons and NT rep, so it's good to see that he's sort of following um, in the footsteps. Yeah, it's good to see the bloodline still out there. A big scrum by both teams. Palmerston with a slight edge. And it's been... Uh, I thought that was knocked on, but we're going to let that go. And Kayla's put a little toe through, and he's got the speed coming back, and we're going to bring it back. Palmerston yeah. got that ball and then brought it back because he's saying there's no advantage. Uh, tackle without the ball was the call. Yeah, well, um, I've got no doubt that uh, Chris Shirley would have played with the Nicky boys. And I'll tell you what, the Nicky boys, they might not have been your, uh, your quintessential rugby players, but, geez, they're hard to come up against sometimes. Those boys have a light on their feet, big in their frame, and, you know, they skin me a few times, but... That's what you Mind want. Mind you, my five-year-old daughter skins me a few times too, so that's nothing to praise about. But they were good players too, so yeah, that's what you want. Your rugby club in it. You want them just to keep flowing through. That's what. That's the foundations. Keeps them going. Yeah, yeah that's how the great game keeps on continuing. So we're going to have another scrum here. Palms and feed on the ten-meter line in their uh, tucking half. Yeah, nice solid scrum. And they're going to go the. Big push here, but they've missed time the play, and the risk got in the way for his pass there. But he's made good meters, and they're gonna. Or they didn't get the good clean out there, and it's been pinned for not releasing. Oh, unlucky, Palmerston. All the effort was there. I tell you what I liked is like they brought all the backs over to the left hand side of the field there, but then they had a three-two overlap on the right. Yep. Um, yeah, so everyone followed him. Too many players followed him on that yeah, side. Yeah, I mean, and you know that comes down to just having a couple of couple of experienced having a couple of experienced blokes in you and that's what you want you want your half back and your five eight to be some of your most experienced players and these young blokes will learn from that yep so we're gonna have a line out to a meter short of the halfway dragons throw in their defensive half They're looking dangerous from all positions on the field so could be up for something special right now mm. yeah throw it and he's Turn to hey, who's bobbled that, but it's been knocked backwards, and they're going to run that straight back through the line out there. Yeah, no pressure on, which is, they didn't need to put any pressure on, but no pressure there in the forwards, but, but McKillop, he's taken a hard tackle, but again, his leg drive, which is his strength, has just kept him driving forward. He's been taken nice and low, but it wasn't anybody sort of securing him there. Tobin, Tobin's on the dummy, he's gone out wide, and this is an opportunity again for him, and they've just thrown the cut out to ground. Well, it's been but picked it's up and put on the boot from oh. Dragons and has been caught by the 20. He's fed that back and he's put a huge torp and that's got yeah. good metres and he's got a Palmerston bounce. Put him. That's oh, soft defence. He's what. gone untouched for 20 metres. 30 metres untouched. 40. Dummies won. Still untouched. And now he's finally passed it. That is shocking. Yeah, uh, and that's little... straight off his feet from Dragons. That's... Oh the man, the Dragons head, yeah. have just got the flow of play though, and Tobin on the boot, but he's yeah, again, that was down at his boot pass, laces. But, oh, oh, he's no, flicked it up yes. north of the seven, and he's put it on the boot. Which is what you need to do. He had no one in front, but now the pressure's on. There is a leg raise going on here. Four against one on Palmerston, then to rely on the defence. They've got, they've got to put the pressure on. Great work by Palmerston. You wouldn't have seen that coming if you were blind. Definitely <laughs> not. That's a huge turnaround from Palmerston. Great effort. In that, they've won the territory battle. They've, I think they've won a little bit of the crowd over as well. Geez, they were gone. They were gone for all money. Well, you can't let someone run 50 metres through the line without touching him. I mean, those two defenders, they had him all skinned up. And as soon as he's gone, gone step right, skip left, sorry, they've just gone, oh, well, you, that was yep. like, mate, someone you, else. You, someone you, else will be there. No you, one was there. You've got you to communicate in that line. But anyway, um, great work by Palmerston. As the line out throw here has been tipped up and it's oh, been knocked H. on there by Big H again. All pressure on him. He was just trying to clean a bit of a mess there and, you know, opportunity arise and just didn't quite fall for him not the way it should have. But I think uh, Palmerston will be happy with that knock on there. Their line has been under pressure tonight, but their scrum has been looking solid. So I think they're more of a scrum team tonight. 
Well, they just don't. I, they, I think they're going to be out skilled, so they've got to they've got to stick to set play. The scrum's been really good, actually. Mm. Yeah, it's been great scrummaging tonight for I, these two. I expected um, them to be dominated a bit, but they've done great the last couple. Um, I reckon they've given up about 100, 150 kilo. So it's just about all the hit and their drive, which is really holding strong. Yeah, it's a bit. Uh, un There's not a lot of cohesion in the uh, Palmerston, but they're doing a great job. And they're going to feed that ball out. Kelly's going to pass that out to. Looks like 22. Oh, done a little geez. dance. They put the toe through. Mustard's chasing through. <laughs> And he, Dragons have put that on the boot. And we're going to pull that back here. It might be people uh, going after the ball without retreating. Yeah. A late hit is the call. Well, OK, well, there was a high hit <coughs> before that, which... Um, oh, he's pulling it back for the late yeah. hit now, which is called by the touching. Um, but, it, geez, they made it hard for themselves there. And the, a shoulder uh, charge is the signal, so late and shoulder charge. Lucky to be uh, still there. And Palmerston uh, going to... Go for points here. Well, it, I mean, they just need to accumulate, don't they? Yep. I mean, they're not going to they're not going to win this game through tries. I don't know if they've just I don't know if they've going to they've got the um, they haven't got the outside backs to do it. But if they can accumulate points, they're every every chance of getting on top of this. Yeah, keep ticking, keep ticking over the points on the uh, scoreboard. Apply that pressure. They just didn't help themselves. That they got to the outside centre, the fullbacks hit the line, they hit the line in front of the, in front of the ball the bloke who had the ball and that had he uh, had he been behind him mate they were every chance of giving this a shake for the try line yeah they had the pace to burn out wide but they got their lines mixed up so yeah just mistimed at the fullback he come up a bit quick and he yeah you know, I, th I think you know sometimes at training going to pose and you can go quick and feel like a you know feel like a, a superstar but the unpredictability of a game can put you in the wrong position pretty quick uh, should be a fairly simple kick compared to what he had the last time. So we'll put the mods on him. He's going to kick it right over the black dot. Yeah, well, he's got number 23, so he's carrying the pressure of the world on him. Yeah, well, Caleb's not kicking, so 23 is taking kicking duties. To be well, and tell you what, he's hit it nicely. It's high, but it's distance is a struggle. He's missed it right. And Dragon's going to run this out. And they're going to go to the sideline. He's seen there's nothing there, so he's going to run straight back. And yeah, that's Aiken. He's and sort a of high tackle advantage there. Aiken sort of went to, went to put a bit of pressure on him. Got a Tobin. Tobin's on the boot now. and Yeah, they bring it back so they can get the advantage of the line out. But Aiken's gone. He went to put the pressure on him. Found he had nowhere to go. He's come back inside, which was good play back to the forwards. But, uh, but Tobin then just took the advantage, and um, they're going to get the ball back from here. Um, I don't know why the, they changed the kicker because after the last kick... Yeah, it looked wide, really good. Um, I'll be backing him. Yep. Um, I mean, there wasn't a lot of power in the kick he got over, but he got it over and it wouldn't have been far from the same distance. Maybe he only likes that far side of the field and... Ah, uh, mate, you know. Kickers are weird, we all know that. Well... I once had a crack. As that out. kick was just found the uh, sideline there, it was a great distance gain. By Dragons. I once had a uh, a kick from about 15 out and about two metres wide of the post and they were that slow at bringing out the tee that I had to drop it and we were five minutes into the game so I was gassed. <laughs> and I kicked it straight into the head of the opposition. So That's what you want, to take them out and then you don't have to tackle them later. So anything I tell you about kicking, um, dismiss it. As Dragons are going to go for the line oh. out, huge pull in there by Elliot Lewis there. Yeah, and there we go. Tobin's held it up oh. and it's gone. Oh, and they've just exposed the, the defence again. He's held. Oh, he's, oh, he's off popped off to the fifth and he's held and it. How he's held onto that, I don't know, but that's try time. Uh, oh, it was late. No, he's been called for knock on. So the touchy has got on the mic and he's oh. called that it was knocked on in he the bobbling. Or is he? Yeah, no, nah, that's half time there, guys. So the touchy oh. is called knock on in that bobbling motion. He's put it into the Palmerston player. Then got it back. So knock on right yeah, on good call. Uh, after the halftime buzzer. So that makes the score 19-7. Dragons leading the Crocs after the first half. Uh, Dragons with all the ball. And it was just sheer determination, I think, that has made that score line so small. I think Palmerston have they've backed themselves defensively and they're not sure what they want to do in the attacking style. 
I mean, just, oh yeah, there's been no cohesion with Palmerston at all. It's just all been pure desperation. Um, and sort of just, you know, guys just sort of having a crack, which is what you want. I mean, if they, if they could lift their... They've only got to lift their enthusiasm level, uh, you know, a bit, and they're right in this. I mean, you know, they haven't shown what they need to get over the top, but it's just enthusiasm will get them over the line here. It's too close. Yeah, definitely. It'll be an exciting second half, and we uh, look forward to you staking with us and uh, rejoining in the second half.
And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the second half of this scintillating contest between Down Dragons and Palmerston Crocs. Down Dragons with the early lead, 19-7. Uh, Palmerston will be looking for a little bit, uh, a few more options in attack, and uh, I think Dragons will uh, be wanting to not have as many handling areas, uh, errors. Sorry, They could be up uh, three or four more tries if they uh, had knocked on the ball as much. So we'll see what this second half uh, has entailed for us. As uh, Palmerston are getting get us back underway here off the boot of Caleb, who's had a decent game tonight, Caleb Smith. Yeah, it's good. Caleb's actually put a fair bit of effort tonight. You can't, you cannot, um, whatever the result is tonight, you know he's put everything in, haven't you? Definitely. Is that a, is that a, <laughs> Big Swindler run at him a few times and he's uh, stuck an arm out and and held on to him, so it's all, all good in that yeah, well, option. not the easiest bloke to tackle in the world, is he? No, and that's come off the foot of Dragons and it's been jumped on the ground by Palmerston, but then stolen straight away at the breakdown by Dragons. A slight knock on there, it's been pulled up. So he tried the old uh, sevens player, put the ball on the ground, pick it up and go again. But he just uh, 
knocked it on in the same motion. Yeah, well, it yeah, wasn't needed. He didn't actually need to try that. He had all these uh, support yeah, players there. But textbook sort of stuff in that you, you you go for your half time break, you have a chat. I mean, um, and you know, we all we all like as coaches, and I've done plenty of coaching. You sort of sit back and think, oh, I'm going to tell them plenty, and, and this is it's going to change everything. Well, no one ever listens to you at half time. Yeah, so, <laughs> sometimes the <laughs> smallest message will do more than. And then you, yeah, well then you come out, and it's just that that you just need you just probably haven't switched on as you've run out. So you know, more common than not, in it. A oh, huge okay. push there by Palmerson, but to no avail as Tobin's Dragons taken come away. Well, he? And he said that Sunya, Sunya's though, they've just got to, they've held it up a little bit here, but Sunya, again, the danger, the danger man from the back line, he's placed it nicely. Yeah, and they're just going to reestablish themselves here to get over. Oh, and there goes McKillop. He's been given too much room to run. The leg driver's got him over. Here he pushes again, and the forwards are just going to lap this up a bit here just keep driving palmerston back palmerston have got to shut this forward runs down a bit and tobin he's gone on the boot he's just tr he's just tr going for going for ground and yeah nice nice little recovery there from dragons they've just decided that we're going to establish a platform and we're going to push these guys back and just put them under a bit of pressure yeah we're going to go straight through the middle of them and then we're going to get field position and see what they can dish out and we're going to do the same thing and we all know that the defence is the hardest part. So just by playing a bit of defence on it, playing and going. It takes it out of you. So Palmer's and boys suck them in early. As they're going to have the line out inside their own 22. Uh, it's been called straight and they pass that back and they have done with the kick. But ooh, he's got one around the chops oh, for a good measure. You know what? That was, the pressure was good. But again, we just said those high tackles just not being effective. And he just needed to go low and lock him down. But... Good pressure by Dragons, but he's done well to get out of that, hasn't he? Yeah, well, look, uh, Robbie on the touchline didn't actually move. He's in the same position where the line out was, so we're just going to change uh, hands of who's got the throw. Had a big first half, Robbie. Yeah, didn't want to move. He's no. a bit gassed. I did compliment him on the last game. I actually thought he had a not, bad, not a bad game, the last one, so... He had a good call. He was probably a bit knocked over when I complimented him. He wouldn't be used to that. Oh, and Dragons look electric again, but she's held onto mm. it and thrown a danger pass, and I'm not sure it's come it's off. It's gone forward, is the call. Yeah, they've, he just pushed it one step too far, eh? Yeah, try to do the old Harbour Bridge pass, and it's not going to work in these conditions of uh, nice sweaty boys in the second half. Yeah, they had a bit of pace on, they wanted to continue it, and it just got held up a bit by the defence, and well done, Palmerston. They've sort of, they've held him up just enough to uh, force that mistake. They can only be, they can only have this desperation defence for so long, though, before it cracks. Yeah, that, it takes a lot out of you having to keep doing this all night. So, Palmerston had a huge scrum last time. We'll see if they uh, can back it up here in their own 22. Uh, I'm going to reset that, because the... Uh, which was really early there. Yeah, nice little unified scrum. I mean, when you look at Palmerston, you know, like, again, I was a very small back back rower, but there were a bit, you know, I was always a, a comp accompanied by sort of bigger forwards, but, geez, the back rowers for Palmerston, the two flankers, these are small. So they're going to have to use their motor, aren't they? Yep. Um, yeah. A couple of young up, uh, young up and coming uh, players there. Well, they're going to learn their trade tonight, <coughs> don't worry. Yeah. There's a couple of Dragons boys there who will make sure they uh, get stuck right in. Yeah, a better scrum there. And they've missed the look, but they've got it now. Jeez, They're going to try and pressure. push through. Look at him go. What? No, oh, he's, he's just holding the defense. Right. I was just sitting there thinking. And goes put that straight down the center there. Getting good meters back in uh, Dragons half. Yeah, Tobin, he had to go. The fullback was right out of position there, but Tobin's recovered well. And now he's just, he's just, the, the, oh, oh, Tobin, do it yourself, because he's just created a mistake. Yeah, and uh, Palmerston have regained that one, and they're going to try and, uh, well, one of the forwards is going to have a kick. Well, mate, uh, you yeah. know. Might as well. We can do it all, mate. And that was a great kick, all. actually. That's gone out just shy of the uh, halfway mark, so. Drew, Tobin, take your hat off, mate. The, the, back, the back three were out of position. You've cleaned it up nicely. And how was the pressure? He's yeah, just, a nice 50 ah. metre sprint to then put pressure on the kicker who's still down in back play. Looks like, no, that's one of the piggies who had to get down there as a scramble. Um, but yeah, great pressure there by uh, 
Dragons. That that was real good rugby, and that's what we want to see. Well, he's always a handy player, Drew, and you know that he's going to um, step up, and he's he's just sort of throwing around and said, right, boys, follow me, and that's leadership there. And they've gone for a cheeky one at the front of the line out. Oh, Gareth Felton. He turned around as the number one boy, uh, the number one man. Whitebridge. They don't cry out of Whitebridge, I can tell you. A nice little run up there by Palmerston, and Dragons are all over the ball and stolen it. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, that was line ball there, but Dragons are taking advantage of it, and boom, oh, and the number, the number seven, he absolutely got towelled up by oh, Palmerston by off their feet there, there and a few knock-ons there yeah, and good, offside, but we'll let it go. On the outside. Jeez. Russ put the whistle away for the moment. Well, uh, knock on there by the nine. Me. And now knock on by... Are you saying offside for Palmerston? Gee, James White took a big hit there and good on him for getting back up. And I think that comes down to... I always had this theory. And he, again, built like me, so I would probably consider him a perfect specimen. And um, when you're that size, you get when you get belted, you roll. <laughs> And we've got a blood rule for your uh, second favourite player, Big Ewan. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm his favourite because I've just cost him three cartons. Hopefully, gives you some. <laughs> but um, you know, these young blokes like that, they get they get hit, they get bounced by you, big blokes. But if that was big bloke on big bloke, something breaks. So yep. um, it's good to see him get back up. And you know, you just want those kids to be just going and going. But again, you know. Palmerston with all the enthusiasm in the world have worked their way right up there and now they've just been turned around again. Was, uh, Dragons going to have a line out here 38 metres away from their uh, try line. Big Jimmy is going to put himself in at uh, number one spot in the line out. An ex-Cougar player. Yeah, well he's um, again they need, they need oh. a bit of help. Oh, and, and, they've, and they've done what Palmerston did to them. Yeah, just not quite awake, were they? And they're just nice, quick play. Found them sleeping. And then Baggett, he's just that lining them up now. And there's a... Oh, and he's... Oh, oh, oh. Where, oh. Handling so, errors tonight are killing both that teams. That was Nicky. And a, sometimes I feel like we're repeated records, and that's because maybe my knowledge is very limited and the games are the way they are. But... Again, he's just done some great work there, Nicky, and just hold on to it. Yep. Yeah, don't try and push that pop pass when you fall in the ground after being cleaned up in a good tackle. I mean, you hear the calls from everybody, don't you? You hear them saying, give it to me. Yeah, pop, 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 pop. You know, and, but, you know, when in doubt, hold the, ground. the bloody ball. Mm. Coach killer. You make good metres, then you cough it up. And that's what I like being in the commentary box. You can pull people apart as much as you like. <laughs> and then they just, f and then they ask for a please explain next week, and well, we I'll pull them say, apart again. Well, I just say, well, that's a rocky told me to say. Uh, yeah, well, I've got a little <laughs> note here. Billy yeah. said to say that H is no longer his favourite player. H won't believe that. Yeah, I know. You, you love him. No, I'm no. surprised his missus hasn't asked you to move in yet. Yeah, well, she's probably seen that I don't do the dishes. <laughs> and they're going to pass that out to Kayla, who's put it on the boot under pressure again, but he's got good meterage on that one, getting a little bit of territory for Palmerston, who are uh, sucking in the big ones. few big defensive efforts here, and uh, it might be starting to show. Yeah, well, I mean, look, what option they have. I mean, they can, they can sit there as much as they like and start throwing the ball around, but, I mean, you know, this Dragons team with the pace they've got, and Palmerston's showing no structure. Just if they can roll them back, roll them back, get in position, then take advantage, and that's that's what they need to do. Um, so they've made another change. One of the young fellows, I believe I coached against him a couple of years ago in under 16, so he's just at the back of the line out uh, for Palmerston. Yeah, nice so. clean line out, Tobin again. He's just set it up nicely, and that oh. just seems to be the difference, doesn't it? A bit of cool head of 5'8. Or oh, that might be a bin. There's going to be, he's, he's got up straight away. I'm not sure the young fella's going to actually call him out on this, but if he's got a wire, there must, there's got to be something said. No, and he's uh, luckily got away with that absolute coat hanger. They're, yeah, actually, look, they're, kidding, they're getting his head from the grandstand. That's how much his head fell off. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, end of the day, I think the ref, he's only a young fella and he's doing all right. We, we, uh, we do sort of struggle for um, refs up here and the ones we've got at the moment, very grateful for because they, for what they're um, putting in. Yeah, that, that's what makes the game possible. If we don't have refs, we can't play. Well, there is an old saying, referees are expected to be perfect from the start and improve from there. 
So, uh, I mate, like that. You know, um, if you're starting at perfection, I expect more. <laughs> and a good throw. It's nearly overthrown there by Dragons, but they retained it. it. Nice clean up. He's just taken on the fence. It's a sensible play just to lock it in. Tobin's nice and quick, so it's going to have to be a forward run here somewhere. But it's gone out to the backs, and then it's gone out to Webb. Oh, and, and there we go. Webb Number six out wide. Showing his, his light feet again. Geez, you can't give him any room. No. You know, you give him an inch and, mate, he, he's flying. Yeah, it was a good, uh, good play by the Bucks as we watch the replay here. Good ball retention. Didn't try and pop it or offload it. We're going to pass it out to Sunya. Draw a pass to six. Steps back on the inside. The fullback's gone down Leonard on his shoulder awkwardly. He's getting treatment in the yeah, backfield. Yeah, poor bloke. Sometimes it just, you just, there are some injuries you just get and there's nothing in them and it just, but of all the clubs in the competition, if you had to sit back and go, forwards and backs and backs and forwards I reckon Dragons are the ones that you would ha be the hardest to define who's a back and who's a forward because some of their forwards are so quick off the mark over short distance. And most of their backs are the size of forwards but I with mean, speed yeah, Exactly, I mean you know you can look at some teams and you know you've got Big Seb at South, you know you know he's a second rower yep. you've got a couple of blokes, you know their props you know, but if there's ever a team that's going to be versatile in where where your positions can play and that's dragons and whether that's come from years and years and years of making up numbers <laughs> or just blokes yeah. who have just yeah, you fill a spot and we're going <laughs> to teach you the role and then all of a sudden a few years later you've got 30 aching off the boot and then it's just bread and butter for him you've got 30 front rowers that they're all got the speed of backs but also i think it comes from the recruitment of players they've got they've got a probably a lot of players who aren't your traditional rugby union players so they've probably got skill sets from different sports and that, that switch over pretty comfortably anyway well they've got one of the i rate elliot as a hooker in uh, the territory game but he has got to be one of the skinniest hookers in the comp so he gives away a little bit of weight, but he makes up for it in talent, and his line-outs yeah. are ridiculous. It's very much a very no an early 90s thing, too. Back in the early 90s, hookers were, you know, they could have been a flanker. They could have been a, a half or a 5'8", you know. Well, so he has played 9 and 10. Yeah. Um, so there is a transition role there in skill set. Yeah. Oh, and that's just a, a little bit of held off on the pressure there. Palmerston could have done better. They've landed it nicely, but no pressure. It's gone to Tobin, and again, they've just... They've just been given oh, time and space, through. and time and space is too much for what uh, they're He's popped the back and Hates has caught it. The back. He's like, oh! oh went and for I the intercept. we're going to get a card here, but... No, he, he called play on. He didn't say that was not... And it's been... Oh, and everybody's had a go. I think we're at the circus. And Hates has got that, and he's offloaded, and Dragons are in. Call that one. Uh, oh, big well, Ewan. I'm not sure which is which, but I was looking for red nose. The amount of juggling that was going on there, I'm looking for chainsaws and bowling pins. I can't wait for the replay. <laughs> Look. Here know, we go. Over the top, the, the H. H and, oh, tries to go for the intercept. Called yeah. backwards. Picked up by Caleb. Gets monstered in a tackle here, and the ball's going to get stolen from him. On to Dragons. Pop pass, back to H. Pop it out wide again. Send yeah. it out with the numbers. Step on the inside. Well, you know what I like there? McKillop didn't kick it. Yeah. Mate, you well, you well, blasted him thought, early you for kicking. You must have thought that through. But, yeah, you, we, we can sit back and criticise every little rule of the game, but... You when know, it's like that, that's the just... Day, mate, you know, the right result happened for whatever for whatever reason, and um, we all enjoyed it, so why not? I mean... Yeah, let the boys play, and yeah, they'll yeah, sort mate, out what, what, what should have happened anyway. Do we need to criticise every inch of the... Well, you and I do, because yeah. we just seem to do, because, we, you know, we're not playing. That's our job. Well, <laughs> well not, yeah. Because we're up here and, you know, we're going, oh, mate, you're, you, know, you should do better, but I wouldn't want to be in that position. Oh, no. <laughs> I couldn't do it. <laughs> but, yeah, good work all round. I mean, the score's just getting away now, though. Be a couple of quick drives here in the start of the second half. Yes. And, again, just... Uh, Effective. Shell and peas. Yep, and All that right. makes the score. Down Dragons 33, Palmerston Crocs 7 with 26 minutes to go in the second half. Yeah, look, I think Palmerston held on as much as they could. I think they sort of, great job in the first half. They, you know, but I think um, the mojo, fatigue, the Dragons fatigue, mojo. Yeah, fatigue and a uh, little bit of experience is setting in, or lack of experience. And, you know, when you're, you know, when you're with South or someone, you know that you, what you can do. Once Dragons start getting them in a mojo, the top teams need to start taking notice. 
Uh, no mistake from this kickoff. He's sent it deep. Uh, the last nice one was deep. left a little short. Well, that's good. You know, field position. Tobin's just launched it. He's got a good, good purchase. And was left by what? Palmerson. Okay, well, I mean, you know. Well, they're going to get the ball back, so. Yep. But geez, that was a good purchase by Tobin. He sent that 40 metres. Well done. I mean, the idea was right. They just probably need to stick it in the corner. It put a pressure on. As we're going to have a uh, Palmerson line out right on the 10 metre line in the defensive half. Pretty much directly across from our uh, commentary box. So we'll see how straight this one is. And that was that'll Australia's do. a twisty. That'll do. That's, part, that's called Darwin straight. Yeah, Darwin flat. N -T -R -U and right. Keller's oh, got a loose ball. He's had to run through and around everyone and put it on the boot. Good meterage gain there. And he's going to chase through and put some pressure on himself. Yeah, they're, they're a bit thin out wide, but they've kicked it anyway, Dragons. And, oh, and that's gone backwards, luckily, for Palmerston. And he's going to pass that inboard to 23. He's seen oh, something he liked, so he's put a torp on. And that's a great kick. Yeah, well done. I mean, uh, geez, and he's trying to lead the number seven for Palmerston. Re re turned around and yelled at his forwards to get down there. He wants a little bit of heart from him. Well, good to see someone taking charge finally. Would have liked to see the quick line out, eh? There was no one within 30 metres of him there. And because that was from inside the half and it's gone out in the 22, it's actually Palmerston's ball oh, with the, the new ball. rule uh, that was brought in late last year. So that's a great kick. Yeah, look, and. You know, he had no, he had nothing to work with Smith, so he's just sort of on the fly, done a very smart play. Look, uh, and they've knocked it on in the lineout. Yeah, is the Dragons knock on though? He just no. came out of the back of the hand. No, he hasn't called it. And Tobin under oh. pressure there. Uh, he's kicked out. Going to go for the quick line out, are they? No. Yeah, no. It's probably a bit more sensible than I think Dragons have got more opportunity in quick line out than. Uh, Yep. Well, Palmer's down, and mind you, they probably need to start doing a th few things on the fly, but the way things have turned out tonight, it hasn't really worked for them. But, uh, yeah, Jake, James, so White, James White from Palmerston, he's sort of, uh, it's good to see a bit of his engine kicking in now, and he's just taking a bit of leadership there, so good on him. Uh, missed call, but it works anyway, and Palmerston got the ball out to Caleb off his bootlaces oh, again. Yeah, nice Nearly pass. got steamrolled, and we're going to go oh. for the pullback, put it on the toe. It's going to pull up perfectly for the winger, oh, and it's been taken out by Dragons. Pressure. He had mustard outside him. I would have just actually gone the one extra pass and just... Yeah, the mustard's dance, had a good night. Might be worth chancing around, but he had the speed and forced Dragons to take that out, Look, so good option. Yeah, that's a good result, really, but, you know, give mustard a crack. He's been, he's had all the enthusiasm all night, just had no free ball. I would like to see him a bit on the toe. Yeah, yeah, I think he's got pace to burn, and he's shown that a few times tonight. Yeah, I think he styled his hair, cut around the aerodynamics of his uh, run too, just quietly. Well, he is from Palmerston, so that's the natural habitat uh, haircut. Of the mullet, yep. So his is more like a streamlined mullet, not a full yeah, mullet. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, how many variations can you get? I mean, it seems to be the, the haircut that keeps on giving. Oh, oh. and they've got another front, and it's hit old Gareth in the head clean. And it is a big target, let's be honest, so it's very easy to hit. And you couldn't do any damage? No, actually, they should check the ball to see if it's... Uh, Got a little bubble on it or something like that. How a bloke with a head like that's got so many good-looking women in his family. <laughs> you know? And I can say that because I do know them very well. Um, and they've been and I've got to keep repeating that just so I don't get out of context and get, <laughs> and get gathered because I, I am scared of the man. <laughs> it was a penalty for... It's going to be an accidental aside, and it's a short arm by the looks of that. So... Yeah, it's the penalty you want about 10 out, isn't it? <laughs> it's yep. not the one you want to... Yeah, he's got some ball boys tonight, so you and I are safe. We don't have yep. to go chase anything. Definitely. Thank God for that. But there's going to be Palmerson's throw due to the short arm, so they're going to get this line out 30 metres out from their attacking try line. Got a bit of field position. Let's see what they can do with it. Well, all any of us want to see is just, just Palmerston to put in, isn't it? Oh, yeah. and a oh. missed throw there. is a bit low. Uh, and they're going to try and drag him to the oh, sideline, and they've right. dragged him out. Effort. He's kept the ball oh. in, though, which is a lot of hard work. He's done well. It's gone out to McKillop. McKillop inside out, and he's just he's oh, opened up the pass. gap. And Nicky's just happened to get a terrible pass. And yeah, the old flick pass while you're going down. The advantage, advantage is here, but they've got to move this quick. They've got to get it wide. They had the numbers. They had the space. Number six, finally putting him some effort. He might have got a bit of a talking to in the first half. 
And number oh, 17, oh. he's tried hard all night. He's done some yeah. big runs. He's yeah. been great to watch. Oh, and a pop pass up to 18. The young fellow wasn't expecting it, but mm. held on to it. It's it was great. The basket and he goes, hang on, isn't that what my And that's been stolen by Dragons in the breakdown. And the player on the ground, I think, was playing at the ball. So we'll wait to see where this goes. And Dragons are flooding it here. And refs running over the touchy. We're gonna yeah. we'll go we're gonna go back for the knock on. Yeah, no, there was there was a knock on there. <coughs> he seemed to play a fair long advantage, which is fine. Yeah, well, they didn't I've get. No, no, they probably lost two meters. So good on you the know. ref for giving him a little bit of a chance. I can't remember what the rule is because I never took much notice of the rules when I played. Yeah, yeah, at least got to get it back to where it is. Plus, it you know, used to one be like two. you go for four minutes and whatever else oh. it was. But I mean, it was just, you could make fifty meters and then bring it back. It was a good rule I change. Bet can they change it that often now? I just got. Yeah. yeah, you need a PhD to understand him. We're going to have a scrum. Palmerston's feed. They have been dominant in the scrum uh, this second half with a few big pushes. Oh, They've been impressive for um, the club. Let's just put the. There we go again. Early hit. Early put hit. A bit too early, but anyway, they've yeah. got away with it, and they're uh, giving it again. Uh, just the technique of there. Yeah, there's a technique that's let them down in the scrum there for Dragons. And oh, oh, we've oh, given it to Mustard, and he's not yeah, that cold. Yeah, they set him up, though, didn't they? It just it might have been the right pass. But now Dragons, again, this is where they're probably the only club outside South. Uh, oh, Sunya. Oh, he's tripped oh, over as the pass what? was it's given just, to him. But if he held on to that? That's surely a knock-on. That's magic play. I mean, is there anything these boys can't do? But then Tobin, the clear head. Oh, oh and, he's just, and he's just tried to put it straight into his gob. How did he trip over trying to catch that ball and then not knock that out? That's classic. I will not criticise him because I did see a bloke run 40 metres, no one in front of him, fall over an in-ground sprinkler one day. And the sprinkler was not even above the ground. Yeah, my ankle is uh, very sore just listening to that. And we've got uh, three, four players back down in back play here. Yeah, look, uh, a few big boys are struggling for a bit of oxygen. Sunya's down, actually, in the for Dragons. That's... But concerning, he has had knee issues in the past. He's coming off a... How old is he? Uh, upwards of 35. Oh, young fella, man. Young fella. Oh, he's yeah, recovering from me. Played the final for sevens this year in the World Title Sevens. Um, they had to rule him out. They actually had to go get the doctor to tell him that he wasn't allowed to play because he ripped the hamstring off the bone. And he just strapped it up. And he was like, no, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, Sunny, you're great, mate. I'm not going to criticise anything ever, do, ever again, because if you're going to pull... Oh, my God. He just strapped it up and was walking stiff-legged. And uh, the CEO actually had to go get the doctor and went, Doc, can we actually have this officially ruled out? Because <laughs> there's got to be something like a clause of us being safe to the players. And like, That's yeah, one mate. step away from getting the needle nose pliers out, pulling it up back of your leg and stapling it on. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll just strap it up <laughs> and I'll be good. Mate, just... Your team won it anyway. Uh, they, they, they did need him, but... So he had Seto, Rocco, he had Wisey. Oh, yeah, it was, there, you know, it was the yeah, proper team. They were never going to get touched. Yeah, and all of a sudden, oh, my hamstring. Mate, yeah, just yeah. have a beer. Oh, that's, I call hamstring when the missus says wash up. Let alone having to do a game of footy. I've done both at once. Actually, it was against Dragons. Uh, a little young fella thought he was just running in front of me and could see that I was not catching him. And I went for the big lunge to dive. So he just put that bit of space on in my lunge and both hamstrings went ping. And that's a yes lesson for young fellas. Too much effort can sometimes be helpful. Yeah. Uh, just use your speed early and I won't chase you. Don't, just don't just let me, don't, don't let me just... I've got to put too much effort in sometimes and yeah. it'll, it'll kill me. Both hands with the hamstrings, everyone looked at me and I was like, I've got to go off. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not sure I've had hamstrings, so I was all right. Oh, that's the only time that I felt them. <laughs> now, I, I, I've been built around a fair bit, but I'm lucky in my life because I'm only a little fellow I got built around. But I remember a bloke hit me one day and I was airborne backwards over the ruck oh. and bounced twice. That's how hard he hit me. Now, again, he was massive, big Samoan fella. But thank God I wasn't any bigger. You were on the right spot, and I was like, oh, lesson learnt. Yep, don't run it in. <laughs> That's someone else's ball. Oh, yeah. As, uh, we've still got time off here. Yeah. As soon as he's getting a lot of treatment on the... Looks like a calf. I sat back and went, oh, this first grade's a mugs game. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you buy it? <laughs> yep. Guess like that sometimes. I went, yeah. I went and played in England instead. <laughs> <laughs> Change the country. You can't find me here. Yeah, no, they don't hit you too hard. They're just kicking your head a few times. Yeah. <laughs> Hear your accent and they're gone. 
Yeah, you'll do. Yep. <laughs> Come here. You don't need to. Yeah, look on you. Know, I think Palmerston, you know, it's, you, they've given everything they can. I mean, there probably could have been a couple of leadership, a couple of blokes in the leadership there probably dragged themselves across a few times there. But overall, I mean, you know, they're, they're working what they got. They've put on a good show. I mean, the score probably doesn't really reflect the entertainment we've got tonight. No, it's uh, blown out towards in this uh, second half. Well, it's crept up, hasn't it? It's one of those ones where some, some games it just creeps up. You look down, you go, oh, hang on, is that really the score? Yeah, well, well, I'd say Dragons really haven't scored from close range. They've all been, you know, 20 metres, 40 metres plus. They're very much in the south mould, though, aren't they? Yeah, they're, you know, they've yeah. Learnt, oh, I think they've stolen it and, they, you know, keep the ball moving if you've got the momentum and if it comes off, comes off, looks beautiful. Great entertaining rugby. If it doesn't, then we heckle them and go, why did you pass it? They're probably the, probably the one team that, if they field an 80% team, are still dangerous. And a bit of early push again by Palmerston got away with that, but uh, well, they're going to continue on with it. You take the advantage where you can, don't you? Yeah. And, and, and they've, they've got it right up against them now, but they've done a great push. Their head is all in their... Geez, Dragons don't want to keep the head oh, down. Oh, and Caleb bobbled that, so oh. then he's changed his kick. Instead of going long because he bobbled the uh, catch, he's just gone for the chip over the top. And yeah, well, we're well going to bring it back for a penalty for offside is the call, which is a little bit under pressure on the kick. Good to see that he changed his mind on the fly. And he's done a quick tap, and he's going to run it straight. He's dummy to uh, one of the Dragons players, and they fell for it. He's made good metres on the 10-metre line from inside the 22. It's a great option by the young fella. Yeah, and old mate just sort of grabbing the ears just there, just saying, look, can you hear me? And he's taking him down in the process. Uh, it's big 17 with another wind-up run. He's done that all night. It's been a great effort from him. Yeah, probably not the most aerobic athlete, but he's, he's, he's put in what he could, didn't he? Yeah. And that was... Oh, oh, I tell you what, the guy's got a suicide mission, and he? he? loves a big hit. Love the seven. <laughs> He's been hit by two fridges then. When you're that big, oh. you do not run at the two Look. biggest fellas. Here comes Mustard. <coughs> Mustard's just put the pressure on. Oh, oh great work by brilliant. Mustard. I tell you what, I tell you what, if there's going to be a fan favourite, he's going to be one of them. Him and the number seven there, you, you know. Yeah, they're best. White, they're white. up there for the top... Top uh, players for Palmerston tonight. Yeah, Mustard and White, they've got to be up there for fan favourites for the effort they've put in. Yeah, and the 10. Um, yeah, oh, look, Smith, Caleb, you can't so. take anything away. You know, you can say whatever you like, but he's done everything with what he had to work with. Yeah, if, know? if they do, the, well, they're young fellows, if they continue this with their career, Palmerston are going to go in a forward direction with those three uh, fellas. Look, it's a hard lesson to learn sometimes, and you just got to make sure they understand that. But he's bounced back up. He's there ready for the lineup. Line out. And good on him. He loves it. But you've got to make sure that they understand this is the, the steps you go through. Yep. Oh. And a bit of a miss pass to the 22, but that's all right. He's going to just oh, run it straight. Oh, he's, he's got underneath him. Ball. And, and he stripped it. Oh, and been turned head. over, so now Strakens ball. He's bounced off one. A bit of a swing on oh, there, 119. Here we go again. And Caleb's going to go down there and with Mustard. that's Webb. And Webb, again, does what he does best. Puts the afterburners on. Puts pressure on. There's at the Tobin. And they're going to go wide. And so near with a bunk he, calf. And they've just going to hold on to him. Oh, oh he's passed it. What a pick up. What a take. And Dragons again. And they're, they're ready to set. They've actually got the line ready to go. Palmerston, you've got to push. You've got to push. Oh, oh bit of a hands. bubble. Still running oh, sideways. Go. And McKillop was there, but now he's in the support. They've, ta they've taken ages to get him to ground, which has helped the Dragons bring support around. Yeah, they got, Palmer's got the line set. Oh, they're going to run up to his small wheelers. And he just had to step back in. And it's been held up, and they're going to pass Toby it out. Through. And he's laid it out nicely, uh, and he was going to send it off. But yeah. you know what? <laughs> Good footy all round. Good call there um, by Elliot. Webb, again, given too much room. And the punishment was made, but Palmerston recovered well. Yeah, we only got the last little bit for the uh, replay, but that started 60 metres away. Look, you know, we, we, Palmerston's probably not a club you know heaps about. It's not a club I know heaps about. So, again, we don't know whether these blokes have been playing reserve grade, whether they're, for, you know, um, so... To sit there and sort of say, well, this probably should have pushed across a bit harder than this and that's a bit much probably because, you know, I, 
from what I've seen tonight, they've put in a fair bit, and you can see that they they haven't got much left in the tank. That's all you can ask. Yeah, I've recognised a few of them from uh, coaching against them in 16s. Uh, I think that's two years ago, three years ago. So oh, well, got a lot of up and comers, which is great to see that they've retained them. But yeah, I think they're still learning the game of uh, senior footy, which is uh, very different to what they do in juniors. Have they got a coach, Palmerston first group? Yep, looks like someone's over there in the dugout. Yeah, right. Okay. I'm sure, actually. And that's, they could do with the coach, couldn't they? Yeah, someone just spark at him from the sideline. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, I would... And, and look, I, I'm probably the most one-eyed supporter in any sport, and I'll just be better call Aiken for this kick, because he's been kicking all right, and he's going to kick this one too, I'd say. Yeah, as I thought. You know, over the never, black never dot. In doubt, never in doubt. He's, he's a bit like he's in a nightclub at the moment. He's a smooth operator. Yep. But, um... Yeah, you know, Palmer sort of put it as much as they could, you know, with what they got to work with, and uh, and that's and that's I guess COVID times, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. All the teams are struggling, and might be affecting these guys a little bit harder than um, others. I am probably, and I am probably a little bit biased on when I do a lot of things, and you know, people who know would say that, but, and I will probably put it out there. And, you know, said my daughter plays for South, but I am a big fan of Dragons. Um, Probably don't give Palmas enough credit at times, but tonight I'll give them plenty because people who don't know the comp up here know this is a big effort against a hard team. Big Hayes with a strong run there yeah. off the kickoff. A couple of passes to him. We go to Tobin. There we go. And, and, oh. Oh, and that's another gone a little bit too far again. He's just had to hold on to that there. Yeah, number six good, and getting a good tackle in there. <clears throat> yeah, and he web again. Don't know if he's related to any of the webs in Queensland, but he's 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 got all this all these sort of uh, attributes. Um, geez, I tell you what, I reckon they'd be dangerous too, Dragons, if uh, Big H is playing inside. Not only is he going to hit it up the guts, but he's also got that uh, leadership to direct traffic. Yeah. And you take the, you know, we always put the pressure on the five eight and a half to direct traffic, but if you've got leadership at inside, why wouldn't he? Yeah. Oh. Be good crash balls. He might get beaten a few times in defence with the speed of ball, but I think he'll make up for it more often than not. As another big scrum here, Palmerston is starting to get the drive on. As Dragons are going backwards, Dragons have got their body height wrong all night in the scrum. Yeah, and oh, oh. I tell you what, he's done well there off the back of the and scrum. He's stripped and, it off oh, them. Oh, jeez, the Dragons. I mean. Uh, nine, the nine there was playing for the, waiting for the penalty to be called, and it was never called. Well, just show you what the, what enthusiasm. Oh, hang oh on. and he's digging into his pocket. Out. Someone's going. I think uh, Caleb might have a little bit of abuse to uh, not calling the penalty. Yeah. Uh, tip tackle. No, there's the. He's put him over the vertical. Is the, is the call? Jeez, not much of him. No, I don't know how he lifted anyone <laughs> up over the <laughs> momentum. He he'd dived into it, so it wasn't my fault. Mate, he'd be flat out lifting a can of Coke vertical, let alone the yep. other player. Yeah. But look, um, that's almost his night. He'll have another minute and a half when he comes back on. But um, got to say, you know, I've, I've actually gained a bit of respect for him tonight. Yeah, he's, you know, had, a, he's had a ripper. Not that I disrespected him, but I just found there's a couple of players there tonight I didn't know about who I think have um, done a great job. Yeah, it could be some good up-and-comers. It'd be great to watch him in the... The rest of the season in the next few years. You've got to retain them, don't you? And you've got to develop them through. And that and up here is probably the hardest of any anything to retain players or retain anything. Here we go again. And just Tobin and just set it up again. Oh, oh it's through. just a one off defence again for Palmerston's let him down. That's been a struggle all night. The forwards are nice and quick. Tobin set back ready again. And it's just he's cut out of the fullback. It's gone out to Big H. Big H to McKillop. McKillop has gone out to Webb. And Webb has just strolled over. Someone's put 20 cents in the machine. And the turnstile has just gone. Thank you very much. But again, Palmerston aghast. And when you're on the back foot, that extra bit of energy just sometimes just isn't there. Well, they've had to do a lot of defending oh, tonight, and that walk. takes it out. You're always running backwards and resetting the line. And and it's not just defence <coughs> just trying to recover from getting past the advantage line. It's defence yep. from 30, 20 metres, you know, running back, and, you know, they're putting another 10 metres and getting back again. So, I mean... It's been a big effort from them. Yeah, and we can't... Uh, I can't believe I'm giving Palmer any much credit. <laughs> not knowing for that, am I? But, um, but yeah, look... 
it, this this year's been particularly hard, I think, for most teams, and so we've really just got to appreciate who put teams on the paddock. Yeah. And um, as much as I hate to say it, I really hate to say it, South have been the least affected from what I can see. Yeah. And you know what? I want them to be the downtrodden hard that they're not, and you know. Anyway, Aiken, again with his uh, five minutes out from the sideline, 22 meters back. That you can see the kids at Dragons copying, and he's just gone again. He's just with the casual. Oh, oh he's been in the back what. and back over the black dot. And what I like, he's relaxed, he's casual. He just goes. Hey, and he's blown kisses to the camera. Well, and why wouldn't you? You know, he just nailed it all night. I mean, yeah. Yeah, they do too much outside of kicking a goal, has he? No, he he's only been used a couple of times in attack. Um, he's just he doing his fresh. one roll, kicking. He looks fresh. Oh, do wingers actually oh, mate, do yeah, much? Well, I'm a forward myself, so I've never seen a back come off who hasn't looked fresh. I started my career at wing and didn't didn't like it. Standing there, you just get cold. Yeah, well, that was a good take there by Dragons, and they've made another five metres after the catch. Defence is slowly dropping off for Palmerston here. And they're yeah, going to chance their arm again hands, straight through the here middle. Here we go to Webb again. And, oh, Nicky, oh. sorry. And Nicky's just gone, oh, thanks very much. I'll just use my pace. To Elliot. And it is, he's got no one with him, but he's popping over the top. Go. And here we go to Nicky again. And Dragons, That's the 50 up. Well, Dragons being Dragons. I think they might as well shut the scoreboard down because at the end of the day... We might run out of numbers. Well, no, not really. It's just that... Watch the replay here. We're going to go back into Elliot. Elliot's just dummies because yeah, he realised no one was there and then pops it back over the top. Well, I think he found himself hanging. No other options. Yeah, Aiken was out wide, but he was about 30 metres. Yeah, just no inside <laughs> That support. was not going to help uh, Elliot in the... Uh, Hooker, pass it that far. He trusts himself, but not that much. Look, I've been on the end of this sort of thing sometimes, but it's been a much more lopsided end. And, you know, while well, we've got seven or eight minutes to go... Um, so I think Parsons' goal is for no more tries. Yeah, but you've got so much pace in Dragons, haven't you? Yep, and that's going to be their oh, issue yeah. there. It'll be hard for them, but that'll be the goal. They'll be talking to each other. Let's just band in, get some big hits on. Look, they're up against probably the last place team, and... Probably a team who's probably not playing the tightest rugby. You know, if 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 these got if Dragons were probably facing a team who played a tighter, more structured sort of defensive forward role, there's a lot more pressure, and this wouldn't open up. But um, but yeah, I mean, what can you say? You can't take it away from either. I mean, they got geez, they got some skill. They got their bloody oh, as he got and yeah, he's kicked another one. That makes Aiken. the score 54 to seven. Dragons I'll leading across what, seven minutes ago. He's chewing up these goals. He'll have nothing left for afterwards if he. If he's going the for the uh, the point scorer of the year. And if yeah, they're scoring well, this many tries, he can get all the conversions. Get up there on the tally. Well, you know, I mean, you know, we're we're world class up here, man. We're all done everywhere, so you know, <laughs> we're we're going to make a name for him. But yeah, it's just again. So much speed. How do you stop them? Uh, they're going for a high kick. They're going to try and put some pressure on at the... Oh, yeah, there you go. He's had a look, hasn't he? He's had a look. You could hear the big fella. The big 17 was running down to line him up again. Line ball for me, and, and it's not a criticism. Oh, sorry, the number two. The number two was the one down there, leading from the front. Not a criticism of... Uh, I mean, they know more than I do, but just sort of line ball. I would have, if that had popped in someone's hands, I'd love to see. But... This is the sort of thing when you're 54 7 down, the enthusiasm in attack is when you go, right, oh, well, we know these blokes are having a crack. Yep. You, know. yeah, you don't um, want to see them just give it and like kick for the corners here. Have a crack while you can. You've got nothing to lose. And anytime they've got players, <coughs> how are they going here? Oh. And he said a not straight in the feed. That popped out. You'll have another go. Oh, there we go. No, out the side, sorry. It's not fun when you're in this position, but it's good to see. And uh, you, you want these players standing up again. And while you've got blokes like Mustard and your number seven White and that running around, mate, harness them, look after them, and this will harden them up for years to come. Keep them in the game. As we get back underway at the scrum. Palmerston with another huge push. If you see the feet of Dragons here, they're not uniform. They're moving their feet too much, and they've just got beaten again. And you go to 25. He's going to chip over the top. 
Why not? Why not have a bit of fun with the game? Oh, um, a and he's just opened up the back of this. <laughs> no one is ready. There's no support. But the Dragons have opened up again. Number 19, he's absolutely skinned them. Terrible pass to H, but H is going to be the settler, and he's going to say, mate, I'm the boss, so if you're going to bring me down, you better bring me down good, and it's a big effort. Straight off his feet there, Dragons. But got away with that one, and they're going to pass it out back. Yeah, good run by Stefferson there. And it, oh, he ooh, kicked it. Oh, That's another what, garden. The and now he's straight off his feet at the other end. Okay, I'm going to have to talk to Big H yeah, after the penalty. game. Penalty. That bloke owes everybody. No advantage. Knows. Thank you. Yep, that's another All garden. Right. I think McKillop's doing extra trainings during the week. You'll have to watch footage. You might yeah, have to get a few clips of John Earl. Mate, this <laughs> is a second rower, and this is what they do. We just like the ball. <laughs> But I don't kick it because I have been taught from very early on that you're going to get dragged if a second row kicks it. And look, I don't like bagging forward because I do think they're the engine room. They're the smartest. They're the best. Huge kick over there. the top of the winger and made huge metres yeah, there. Oh, geez, that's run well, hasn't it? Yeah, good work, Palmerston. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, being a forward myself, they are the best looking. They are the smartest. They do know the game better than anyone. But he's just giving us a bad rap. Yep. Maybe We're that thing around his head, he's got, he's done some damage or something. But yeah. um, you and McKillop, there'll be some words after the game, I think. Yeah, he's letting us forwards down, that's for sure. <coughs> yeah, no, nah, you'll have to repay your fees for the union, I think. Especially in the second row. Come on, mate, you're making us look bad. Palms in here with a line out. Oh. Uh, bit of a miscommunication, but effective because they've got the ball and they're going to try and maul this over. They have the strength in the scrum. Why not try them all? Jeez, 22 they're metres they're, out. They're working hard. They're, this is a good effort. I tell you what, they're, they're high. But they're going. Going. And, and H is straight through the middle. The ball. Yeah, and H has stopped it for a moment. Oh, big, big he's, is directing the yeah, traffic. And he's been penalised. H oh, fell off that and, and then the rejoined it at the back. Up. He's pulled him again. Yeah. yeah. So H fell off. He got through the centre, fell off it, and then he went straight back into and latched onto the uh, end. So that's penalty against him, and we're going to go. They've asked for a scrum. Well, they're trying to go quick. He, he looked for the tap, and the referees come back for the scrum. But, I mean, yeah, I think the that's, captain went no. <laughs> well, that, that's in Palmerston's favour, really. I mean, I'm a, I'm really surprised they've actually done as well as they have. But and again, I'm no. I'm no technician, I'm no bio... The body um, height for Dragons tonight in the scrum is disgusting. That's why they're going backwards. I don't know much about biomechanics, but I always thought that if you're, you're hitting a scrum, you do not want to move your feet. As, you want to keep as little movement as your feet as possible, lock them in. As soon as you start lifting feet, pressure comes off. But look at where their feet are set there. Yep. This one's a little bit better, but they're usually setting up straight underneath them. So you can see their front yeah. row, their feet... And 90 degrees going down from the hip and not on any angle going through the second row. So they've got no push from the first three guys. So they're struggling there with a bit of body height and uh, the way they're setting up. See Dennis Spree in the background there, the, the fellow with the uh, white beard, the shorts and thing. Oh, how many games do you reckon Dennis Bree's played? Would it, would it be like over the... Uh, Four or five thousand, Mark. Oh, I mean, he, it, the bloke's still there. playing. What is he? About seventy-eight years old and still run around. He actually ran out. I think it was with his grandson uh, last oh. year. There was a nice article in the paper about it. How many of those blokes would do that? Yeah. Well, and you know, ex ex <coughs> um, member of the AR, ARU and board member, and Does they put it on the boot again. And Dragon's just going to kick this straight out of the guts, though. Yeah, we're going to have to open play here, which is what we need to finish this Aiken off. Aiken is chasing hard. Yeah, he's good pressure on by Aiken. And out on the fall. out on the fall. And you know what? <laughs> Stuff happens, mate. Pull you, put your head up. Nothing to worry about too much. I mean, it's been a big night. Now, it's last minute of the game here. What can Dragons finish us off with? Is it going to be something flashy, or are we going to get another close, but no cigar from them? Yeah, look, I, I reckon, you know what, I reckon Dragons are most dangerous with about a minute to go and at about anything less than seven points, then you don't want Dragons with the ball. Oh, no. I'd back them in every time. If they're, if they're behind by five points... And the game's up for grabs. Yep, and they've got... <laughs> and they've got the ball in hand. Yep, back them in. They'll just pick and drive for 100 metres. They've probably, done it before. Probably the most dangerous team in the comp, but, I, you know... 
Uh, they're all like, they've won this. Oh, a nice little take there by the 17. He's tucked a little shoulder, but yeah. big H has gone. Oh, well, boys, we'll just roll through here. Ooh. And the forwards again, and this is where they've been good tonight. They've just locked it up nicely. About the Tobin. Tobin, they've got to go to our hands. They've got to go man on man. Oh, oh there we go. He oh. couldn't have put it up any better for him. And that's the game. Good work all round. Yeah, um, and, he, and the ref's called full time. That was a uh, big win there by Darwin Dragons. 54 over. Uh, Pumps and Crocs, seven. Uh, Crocs has run out of gas in the second half. That's where all the points came from. They were in it. They were sticking with them, just doing a lot of defense, and that just taxed them towards the end. Yeah, well, you can't blame them. I mean, you know, again, we've, we talked about it all night, but the patch together sides, we, we, we don't know who's, who's what and what's what, who's who. But, you know, Palmerston have done a, a good effort. And the score might not reflect it. But we do know a few of those players, and, oh, they've and for, for what they've put in, for the, for the time they've put into NT Rugby, where they're playing first grade, mate, um, well done to all round. Yeah, there was a great effort by the young fellows from Palmerston. Definitely uh, a few of their players can hold their heads up high. They've really showed us what the future's going to hold for them, and the future's looking bright. So, anyway, Dragons, another couple of points. Puts a bit of pressure on your mob, mate. Yeah, definitely. Does that put... Your, does that put Kaz down to what fourth yet or uh, I'll check the ladder now and one thing Oops. we probably haven't done is given the ladder since you've been on air but that's uh, South are at 39 points Uni Pirates 23 Cougars at 20 and Dragons at 16 these points here will still keep them just behind yeah their before their percentage or their points for and against are hurting Dragons right now they're minus 154 so plus the 54 they're minus 100 so that's what's going to hurt them but, um, if know, there's any look, points close into it. But I think Cougars can't afford to drop many more games either. No, definitely not. They're uh, uni, uh, not uni. Dragons are coming home like a house on fire. Anyway. That, uh, that's it from us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in on NITV and the Rugby Explorer app and Facebook. We uh, hope you enjoyed the call from myself and Billy. Uh, all good. See you next week. And it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure to call both games. Thanks, Rocky. And everybody, good night. Thank you. You've been rockified and billified.